Hello people, this is Bear from Bear Collector and today we're going to review one of my old video top 5 Pokemon cards to buy now which is almost 6 months old and we're going to see if the cards that I suggest are performing well, see how they're performing and see if I still believe in those cards. As always, I would like to do here on the channel, we're going to take a look at both the European and the American market, so we're going to take a look at both Com market and TG players, see how the prices are moving, if there's any differences and what I would expect next. Now before we get started, don't forget to join the Discord if you want to join a growing community of Pokemon investors, Pokemon enthusiasts and Pokemon collectors both in the European Union, in the US and all over the world. And then if you want to stay updated and highly recommend you subscribe to the channel. Now without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, top 5 Pokemon cards to buy now, well it was almost 6 months ago and uh, one of the cards, the first card I said not there's, it wa there wasn't any order, just random random order five cards, singles, was the Lugia V from Silver Tempest. Now, let's take a look at how it, how it was performing and how it is performing. So as you can see here, if we take out these two listings, which f were from the United Kingdom, so it was not in the European Union, they were selling for as low as 160 euros. Now, taking a look at Lugia, as you can see here, there's still two listings in the United Kingdom, actually three now, and uh, the lowest is still at 160 euros. So you could say nothing hasn't really changed in uh, six, five months. And one thing worth saying, Silver Tempest just had restock last, last week in the European Union. We're going to talk about that in an upcoming video on the channel. So could, we could potentially expect prices to drop even lower in the European Union. It's not a reprint, it's a restock. And after all, the Pokemon company does not print in the European Union yet. So it'll be interesting to see how it's going to play out. Now, in the American market, TG player, as you can see, during 2024, it did come back higher. And as you can see here, if we look at current listings, they're selling pretty much at the same price, $165 to $170. If you also take a look at sales, as you can see here, 185, 185, 190, 172. So you could safely say it is selling in the 170s. So really no much movement after five months. But still, at least you probably wouldn't have lost any money, which as I like to say on the channel, safety first, money second. So the second card in the video was Charizard V from Brilliant Stars, the all art. And as you can see, they were selling back in the European Union as low as 130 and then you could find a few more at 140 euros now let's take a look at how they're doing now so over here in the european union again these two listings here as you can see are from the united kingdom so you could say safely they're pretty much selling at the same price point 130 and then here some in the 140s so again similar situation to lugia not much movement but one thing that I have to say, and there's going to be another card from Brilliant Stars in the list. I do expect Brilliant Star to start moving higher quicker than some other cards in this list, as I do expect Brilliant Stars to run out of stock soon in the Pokemon Center in the United States, and that usually will drive prices higher also in the EU. Now, from reference in the European Union, there are as low as 1 in 80, and they're climbing by the day as also su supply dries up and obviously there is no Pokemon Center in the European Union as always there is in Europe in the United Kingdom but unfortunately they're not part of the European Union anymore so if we take a look at Charizard V in the United States as you can see this is a three month chart it did see a $40 gain so 30% roughly it was in value and if we take a look at listings right now you can see how they're selling for Pretty much 145 to 150 dollars those are the lowest listings and if we look, take a look at sales you can see 142 141 174 150 so you could say they're selling in the low 140s mid 140s i guess it's a fair price so nothing really moved again after five months so card number three on the list was the rayquaza v max from evolving skies the secret alt art and uh, as you can see, again, without considering the United Kingdom seller, it was selling as low as 250 euros. Now, let's take a look at what's going for in the US and in the EU right now. In the European Union, as you can see, it's going for as low as 270 euros. And then there's 
most of the listings are about 300 euros. So here we start to see a price ga gain of about 10 on the lower end and 20% on the higher end here in the 300s, low 300. And if we take a look at what's going on in the American market, as you can see here, it is selling for significantly higher prices than uh, the European Union. If we take a look at sales, 400, 400, 400, 400, 390, 400, 400. So it looks like it, it is selling in the 400, especially these past days. Last week already, you could see it was selling for lower prices, 370, 350, 375. And the lowest listed is at $400. So here we do see a significantly price difference between the European and the American market. It's uh, about 100 in terms of absolute value. And then if you convert these to euros or euros to dollars, I would say it's roughly $80 difference. So that's quite interesting. And I wonder if European prices are going to fall up closely to what is going on overseas. Fourth card on the list was, as anticipated, the RQ3 Alt-R from Brilli Stars. And as you can see, it was selling for as low as 33 euros back in December. And if we take a look at it now, you can see how this card is actually in Spanish. I checked, as you can see here, probably. If you look at the attacks, they're in Spanish, so that's a mislisting. Hopefully, the seller uh, realized that as soon as possible. So they're selling for as low as 30 euros. So it's actually a 10% loss on the card itself, which is it's only 3 euros, but percentage-wise, you would be down 10%. If we take a look at the American market here, we can see how it bottom at around $20 back in February, and now it is selling for in the mid 30s, and you can find it for as low as, again, 30, 31, 32 dollars, and then quickly going up to the mid 30s. Now, as I said for Charizard, I do expect Brilliant Stars singles to start to move higher in prices, as I do expect boxes to run out of the Pokemon Center soon. Now, last but not least, we had the Giratina V-Star from Crown Zenith, the gold secret rare. And what an arc rare, it is my favorite of the five. And as you can see, it was selling for as low as 84 euros back in December. And today, once again, not considering British seller, it is selling for as low as 80 euros. So you could say a four, five percent difference in price, which is only a four euro difference. So in terms of absolute value, it's not much. In terms of percentage, it's something to, to consider. And uh, also one thing mentioning, Crown Zenith in the European Union had a restock late February, so about two months ago, and that brought prices a bit lower in the European Union. As myself, I picked up some ETBs and some of them we opened here live on the channel. So if we take a look at what's going on in the US market, it is selling for similar prices, $83. And as you can see here, they're listed for as low as $80. Here as you can see it includes a $5 shipping. And um, so you could say they're pretty much stable. Nothing really changed in five months. Now, summing up, do I still believe this card could do well? Would I still buy these cards? Well, ba basically already answered. The only card that I wouldn't buy on this list is the Ray Quaza because I would already be in the profit with that and uh, I wouldn't buy this price point. Can it go higher? Yes. Can you go to zero? Also possible. Will it? I don't know. Nobody knows as I always like to see on the channel, but uh, the probability of going to zero is not zero and the probability of going higher is not zero. So again, I don't like risk and uh, at, of all these five cards, I feel like the less riskier, I mean, they're all risky. The less riskier could be either the gold Giratina, as it hasn't really moved much. It, it, it bottom, but it hasn't really moved, and the Arcus V. Now, again, thinking about what could appreciate faster, I would say the Charges are V from Brilliant Stars, the reason why I already explained them. But at the end of the day, I don't know, nobody knows, but I guess we can update again in five months time this video and see how these cards are gonna go. Please let me know down in the comments if you like this kind of format, if I should do it for other videos that I made on the channel a few months back. And if you do, please subscribe and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any update and leave a like as it really helps and it goes a 
a long way. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the Discord. Hope to see you in the next one. And stay safe, everyone.